Hi. Ever dreamed of being invisible? Well, I know I did. It's a dream shared by all, from children to physicists to engineers. Soon, with the help of those guys at Duke University and other researchers, it will be possible. But before we know how things become invisible, let's discuss how things are visible. Waves of radiation normally bounce off solid objects in different directions, but the metamaterial stop this from happening. The waves are guided smoothly around the surface, returning approximately to their original pattern, on the other side as if the object isn't there. These are waves that are undisturbed by any object. And now we can see the waves hitting the object being disturbed on the other side. After shielding it by a metamaterial, the waves are observed as undisturbed by the object. The key to the clock's invisibility is the arrangement of copper lines on fiberglass sheets. The design gives the clock electromagnetic properties different from those found in both copper and fiberglass. The design comes from the new engineering science called metamaterials. Till now, metamaterials are only invisible to microwaves. In the future though, the same method could be used in making objects invisible to visible light waves which will produce total invisibility to the human eye. This futuristic technology could be a dream come true or our worst nightmare. Imagine weapons, soldiers, bombs, and even nuclear bombs. Imagine all this power destruction can come from literally nowhere. Like any other technology, it can be used in an advantages or a disadvantages way. In my opinion, I think it's a very nice thing that humanity is advancing into broader and newer sciences. But I think that these new technologies that could be applied as a threat to humankind should be governed appropriately.